How's it going everyone? My name is Rune and welcome to another brand new series here on my channel. I know I've been doing a lot of these recently but don't worry this is like the last new series we'll be doing for a little while. Um, this is actually a new game that came out on Steam. This was actually the game that inspired me to do uh, or start my Silent Hill 3 Let's Play. This is back in 1995. This is a game that uh, is a very heavily inspired by old PlayStation horror games such as Silent Hill and Resident Evil. Um, this game uh, literally just came out. I got it yesterday. Uh, and I have no idea what this game is about other than the fact that it is a Silent Hill Resident Evil PlayStation 1 clone type game. So we're going to get right into it. It even has a little disc. This game is by Throw the Warped Code Out. Uh, this was actually a Japanese developed game, so if the uh, dialogue is a little funky at points, that's why. Um, he, even the developer, uh, the the guy, not the developer, the publisher, is Japanese. They tend to um, port. Uh, Japanese indie games for the American audience, and that's what this game is. Alright, that was a great intro. Kent, so that's the tower. Guess I'll make my way there. Oh, his name's Kent. And here I am again in this forgotten place. How much time has passed since that unholy mess, I wonder? All this time... I'm trying to move on, but as much as I try, it just feels like I'm treading water. That tower. Alright, here we go. <laughs> yeah, so look at these freaking graphics. So, um, the game originally starts with a... Um, oh man, the walk cycle is... It's beautiful. Um, the game uh, might be a little too inspired by PlayStation 1 graphics because I don't even think the original Silent Hill looked this grainy and the, <laughs> the audio quality is not the greatest also the frame rate it says it's running at a thousand frames a second but feels like a lot less than that all right actually there might be something over here kind of looks like we can walk over here no Oh, okay. So it has, like... Like, the, t the controls feel like they're tanky, but also not. It's weird. Right, I guess we go up here. Yeah. The animation's a little funky, but... Meh. It's, a, it's an indie game. So these graphics were intentional, that he did want it to look this way. What the hell is that? I'd ask the same question. Oh, oh, this the soundtrack is just uh, excellent. Is it gonna? <laughs> this soundtrack is just perfect. All right. Ooh. All right. Oh, ah! Where do I go? I can't, I can't, uh, <laughs> I can't switch the camera, so, like, when that, God, it's locked, maybe if I had a key. Hey, buddy, don't mind me. Uh, the camera is, like, locked, it's really awkward. Alright, alright, that, why is, oh, what's this? Ooh, I got a wrench. Now, how do I hit? All right, that's uh oh oh, so some beautiful freaking uh animations. <laughs> All right, let's go kill some uh, poop monsters. Die poop! I missed. Die poop! I missed. Die poop! Oh gosh. 
Die, poop. Die again. I did it. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, what's this? Can we not go down here? Yeah. Nope. Okay. Get back in here. Poop monster, die! Poop monster, die! Yeah, nice and easy. A key is behind the AC unit on the roof. S subtle. All right, cool, thanks. Uh, random floor note. All right. There's no like faster like movement speed either, so this is like he, he just walks at a a a, a like a casual pace. Hey, I got a key. All right, not too bad. <laughs> yeah, the controls are a little funky. It doesn't feel like a Silent Hill or Resident Evil game, but it also kind of does. Like, you'll have to play it to actually understand how the controls feel. All right. Hello? You have one voice message. Find why. Ah. Ugh, my head. <laughs> the pacing is so bad. Ah, you finally come too. Where am I? I woke up lying on a hospital bed. A man who called himself GP said he took care of me after I passed out on the roof. I wonder if I wonder if those are his initials. As for how I got to the roof, I haven't the foggiest. The monsters I saw, he says they just showed up one day and started attacking everyone. Oh, and to stay away from the roof, he says it's pretty bad up there, which is why he's barricaded himself on the top floor. I told him I wanted to go to the tower, and that if things were this bad, I just needed another way. GP says that all the buildings in the city were connected via wire, which were used by survivors to send each other supplies until they arrived. What? Oh, until help arrived. Eh. Unfortunately, the wires seemed to go down, just my luck. GP looked at me and said, for now... Go to the roof and check the a on the AC unit. You just said the, AC the roof was not a safe place. To avoid it. Dude, fuck you. <laughs> Alright. Do you want to save? Yeah, sure, why not? Alright. I haven't saved before, so yeah. Alright. Medicine thing here. Okay. Well, I guess we're heading up to the roof now because apparently <sighs> we need to do that. The door seems to be broken. All right. Oh god, this is so weird. Can I make some coffee? I want some coffee. It's late. Oh, that's clever. He uses um Yeah, okay. Where is this place? Weren't we? Where, didn't we go to like to the floor below? All right, bathrooms. Bathrooms are always. Oh, yep. Yeah, see, I was really. Uh. Okay. I was about to say, yeah, bathrooms are usually a good place to go in an apocalypse in a horror game, especially ones inspired by Silent Hill. They're always. Ah, mwah, the best place. I don't know why I keep doing that stupid. All right, well, apparently I'm not allowed to go in the women's bathroom. Fun fact, women's bathrooms aren't actually usually cleaner than men's. They are usually a lot worse. I know this because I've had to clean them before. Oh, God, okay. What the hell? Oh, we're on the other side, it looks like. All right. I think it looks like we're on the other side of a building because that's the AC. I think that's where. 
Poop monsters! God damn it! <laughs> Fucking poop monsters. Are they supposed to look like shit? Like, not like, like, they look like shit, but are they supposed to look like actual piles of walking, talking shit? Not walk, talking, they probably don't talk. It isn't time to go there. What? You can't just tell me not to go places. I'm gonna explore, guy. You can't force me to... Fuck you. Like, they don't even look fleshy. They just look like poop monsters. Also, they're very ineffective. They, like... Do, they, did he touch me at all? He didn't. I didn't take a single hit of damage. I'm just gonna fucking walk by. Goodbye. Turn the AC. Alright, so that'll do it. Time to go back to the dock. But we only turned on one. Alright, fuck you guys. Get the fuck out. I'm walking away. Going this way. <laughs> really? We ha <laughs> What kind of... Ah, oh God, whatever. It's a video game. They have mundane tasks. Why'd you make me go up to the roof? What's the point of that? You all done? Ah, got one more task for you. Dude. Just as I thought I was free, GP hit me with another favor. I need these documents, you see. And I'm way too old to go get them. He, he said apologetic, but I was taken aback. I mean, documents? At a time like this, he went on. He went on. Go left once you're on the roof, and you'll see the emergency stairwell. Use it, and you should be able to get into the lower floors. How did he find us? The stairs on this floor were blocked by a bunch of lockers. Uh, probably to keep the monsters out, which means it's not safe down there. I asked the old man, are those documents really that important? He just nodded in silence. I guess I have no choice. All right. Well, are you going to equip me better for this, or...? What? What? Cool, I have two pipe wrenches now. Why do I have two? Of course, fuck you, that's why. What's this? The thing in there? It's probably just documents on me. Yeah, why not? Just save to save, you never know what's gonna freaking happen. Alright. Uh... So, just so you guys know, um, for, okay, so this is going to be like a super short series, and my initial plan for this is to uh, record every episode of this in a single day. So, if I start to sound dead inside by the end of this game, this Let's Play, you'll know why. It's because I'm doing this all in one shot. Alright, well, let's, uh, looks like there's a way down there, but alright. Can't go there. Uh, poop monsters. Okay, now we... P fucking poop monster, where'd you come from? A it's out of service, okay. Fuck you, poop monster. It's locked. Maybe if I had a key. There's a thing on this. No, there's not. Alright, poop monster, I'm following you. Bring me to the key! Do it, slave. Ah, I killed it. Shit. There's a newspaper on top of it. No, that's a hatch? Looks like a newspaper. Ah, oh, okay. You take me to the key. Just kidding. I'm going to walk right by you. Uh, Alright, well, they are like the least threatening creatures on Earth. There's a note on the floor. I should have escaped when I had the chance. If only I had known. This is hell. Everyone who stayed behind is dead or dying. I probably won't last much longer. Why the hell did I come here anyways? <gasps> a gun. I think that's a gun. It's a pistol! Yeah. Aim with aim and shoot with attack. <laughs> oh, thank God. Kids playing with... I got an achievement called Kids Playing With Guns. Bullets, hell yeah. Now we just saved. Alright, I guess I need to figure out how to fucking shoot a gun. Alright. Oh! Oh. 
Okay. Oh, okay, I gotta reload. Hold on. All right. Well, it's right bumper and X, but you can't move when you're. Oh man. Vending machines. Those are not vending machines. Those are filing cabinets. I can't tell the difference. There's nothing in here. Ah! Poop monster! Oh my god, the animations are so bad. I'm... Poop monster, look at this. Watch, watch the gun. I'm shooting him. See? He's dead now. I shot him so hard, he died. Yeah, I'm gonna use the pipe. This game has 437. Alright, let's remember that. We'll probably need it. How convenient that this vending machine says 1995 on it. This probably has nothing to do with uh, the year. 4, 3, 7. Wow, super hard puzzles. Alright. <laughs> this thing over here. Newspaper clipping. <laughs> Dr. Randall holds key to solving world's energy problem. Dr. Randall from the UK1K uh, Foundation's research lab proved that existence of beings beyond the third dimension she also said the following about her next research. The latest data suggests that our world has only two dimensions until just recently. Uh, will it turn into four? Concepts like recently and hereafter, hereafter exist on a time axis that is unrecognizable by us. Yeah, okay. Painkillers. Being really favorable with the whole painkiller thing. There's a note written on the whiteboard. Oh my gosh, yes. Cut, there's a cut scenes for text. Top sales this month. Sam Mills, Jake Old, Jensen O'Field. The winner will receive a pay bonus. Sam, Jake, Jensen. Alright, let's remember that. I really hope we need to remember it like that. Alright, well that's foreshadowing. Whoa. Okay, I was like, what? What the hell is that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. What was... Th what is this camera angle? Oh, no. That's not good. Uh, what the fuck? Ah, stupid f slug fuckers. Shut the fuck up. It's totally gonna be 437 again. No, okay. Just the chair. Don't mind me. Fuck you. Ah, it's broken. Ah, uh, yes, I love these camera angles. They're the best. All right, well, let's go back in the room with the creepy bastard. Let's, uh, grab our pistol, baby. Did I, I think I reloaded it. This is not the same room. Oh, good. Pistol ammo. Do we touch any of these? Do they do anything? Uh -huh. How do I get over here? How do I get over here? Oh, okay. <laughs> the fucking camera angle is so bad. Oh, good. I got a key. Love it when there's bullets just randomly sitting around places like this. Like. 
This is clearly an office building. Why did people have weaponry? Like, the wrench is, a, is an acceptable weapon to have in an office because it's not technically a weapon. It is... Or... A painting adorns the wall. Okay, four. It says four on it. Oh my god, how... How do you fuck this? How do you explain that? Oh my god. It, uh, okay, look, there's technically not a texture there until a uh, bam. Now there's textures all along it. Now they're gone. Where the fuck am I? Creepy ass dick monster. Flamingo thing. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here. You have bullets. Reload. Reload. Ah, it's dead. There's a note on the desk. Oh, yes, more. Must claim their assessment report from. I, I already forgot the fucking. I already forgot the original fucking three. How the hell did you expect me to remember that? Huh? Oh my gosh, this kid. Uh. We got a key. Where did. Where. What was the place that needed a key? Oh my gosh. God, this is painful. No, I didn't. Okay, so I found the key in here. I could go in here already. There's a health drink here. Like the, our painkillers. Four. Four is the magic number. Alright guys, I'm going to end the episode off here. If you liked the video, be sure to do the stuff with the buttons down below. As always, I'll see you guys next time for some more back in 1995. Goodbye.